Hello, my friends, and welcome finally to my huge Eccentry brand review, part one, toners and essences. Oh, it's gonna be big. We've got over 20 products spread across three videos. I'm so excited about this. I've been working on this for a long time. Now, if you are not new to this channel, you know the drill. We have timestamps and links in the description box below if you are looking for information on just one specific toner or essence. I do wanna have a brief intro to Eccentry before I discuss all of these essences and toners. And I also wanna say a huge thank you to Stylevana who worked with me on this video or these three videos. I bought about half of the products you're going to see and they were kind enough to gift me some, which I'm really glad they did. I didn't know what else to pick and so I said, can y'all just send me products that you think I might like? Oh, beautiful choices, wonderful. I will include my Stylevana code up on the screen if you do wanna get a discount on this brand. And also, as for what the brand Eccentry is, this is a Korean skincare brand that Ooh, if you have a similar skin type to mine, I really think you're gonna like this brand. My skin type is dry, acne prone, and just a little bit sensitive. Cries at the intro during up every time, you know what I'm saying? And because Eccentry is a primarily fragrance and essential oil-free brand that is very to the point, has actually quite a few products that do contain some higher levels of actives, which we will also talk about in this video. It's just a wonderful match for a more difficult skin type. But we also also do have products for more normal skin types, even oily skin types that we will cover. And also, I really want to make sure to clarify who the brand Eccentry is. There's another K-beauty brand that so many, I think in particular Americans, mix up with the brand Eccentry. And uh, while I could make fun of other people for this, I personally uh, think that's mean and would rather make fun of myself. I have no shortage of source material. So how about we do this? Let's go ahead and call up 2019 Alice and ask her what she thinks of the brand Eccentry. Oh, hey, 2022 Alice. Alice, how are you doing? Oh my God, you're okay. so chipper. I am just in such a good mood. I'm going to a party with hundreds of people. Now, there is a mask requirement. Did I did I call the right year? Is so this... this is the mask that I'm, I'm thinking of wearing? What, what do we think? Oh, you sweet summer child. Hey, listen, I'm calling you to ask if you've heard of this Korean skincare brand by the name of Eccentry. Yeah, the green tea seed serum. No, no, no. That's that's Innisfree. Isn't that isn't that what you just said? Know. Listen, you just listen. Said, you just said Innisfree. 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 I mean, honestly, it kind of sounds like the same thing. It really thing. doesn't. If you if you listen to that, Eccentry, Innisfree, see that's yeah. It's listen, quite, I gotta go. I'm gonna just uh, you know drive for no reason because what's gas cost? Like a dollar a gallon. You're painfully naive. By 2022, Alice, I'm sure the world is wonderful. I may have just used my art form as an outlet of expression, but there was a point to that, and that is I've seen quite a few people, not just myself, quite a few people say, you know, it kind of seems like Eccentry might be intentionally copying Innisfree. I genuinely don't think they are. They actually have an explanation for their own name. It's derived from island, nature, and tree, all of which is supposed to, uh, you know, suggest that it's a much more natural brand. They also do use the EWG ratings for anybody who is interested in that. Regardless, the most important aspect of skincare products for me personally is that the products are effective and they are non-irritating. And for me, oh my goodness, that is what Eccentry does. Now, again, we're gonna get into toners and essences today. I don't know if I'm gonna do every video in this specific format, but I thought it might be fun to kind of start at the beginning, which means starting with the hyaluronic acid toner, just the regular one. This was released in 2010, and y'all will be so surprised by this. Apparently, this has sold over a million bottles. I feel like it's so funny, if you released a hyaluronic acid product in 2022, I kind of feel like people would be going, why, right? But 2010 was such a simpler time. We're really doing a lot of flashbacks in this video. 
It was a simpler time and hyaluronic acid was really exciting. I do, even in 2022, I do think this is a well done formula. They say that it is for dry to normal skin types and that's because it doesn't leave too much of a sticky finish on your skin. It's actually very lightweight. In all truth, as you massage this into your skin, you will feel a little bit of a slimy sensation and that's just because of the nature of hyaluronic acid itself but the formula helps it to sink in your skin really rapidly so it doesn't leave that sensation behind. In this incredibly short and to the point ingredients list, we see that they've used three different forms of hyaluronic acid. We've talked a lot about this on this channel, so just a real quick recap. That is so the different weights of hyaluronic acid can hypothetically travel to different layers of your skin, plumping as it goes. And I think what is so interesting about this product, especially in 2010, is that this kind of formula seemed to be pretty hard to master. To compare it to something like the COSRX Hydrium Watery Toner, this one is so much more lightweight. While this one actually does end up being lightweight, and yet it feels a lot more hydrating on your skin. In order of the, the story of Eccentry, the Hyaluronic Acid Toner Plus came out a little later, and this one was supposed to be for a slightly more dry skin type. So maybe you would choose the regular if you have kind of normal to combo skin, but you deal with a little bit of dryness, whereas if you are leaning even more dry, you might go for the plus version. The plus version does have a little bit more viscosity to it. It does feel like it's a little bit more hydrating to your skin, and it also does contain two more forms of hyaluronic acid. For me personally, I did buy the regular hyaluronic acid toner, but I decided not to buy the hyaluronic acid toner plus, except for in this mini size. And I think this will probably be where my journey with both of these products ends. Personally, again, keep my skin type in mind, but I do want to include the hyaluronic acid water essence, which is supposed to be, you know, in order here, the product that is most for dry skin. According to Eccentry, this one is the most serum-like, and that is very true from every level of this. I mean, it's practically in serum packaging, and yet it's called an essence. It does have eight different forms of hyaluronic acid, and this one is really where you start to feel this product the most on your skin. So if you aren't somebody who likes to feel your skincare, you are probably not going to like this product. Lots of double negatives there. However, if you are somebody who has very dry skin, this may be a game-changing product for you, potentially. I think what's interesting about releasing this as an essence as opposed to calling it a serum, which you might expect, is that this word essence kind of implies you follow with another serum, and I like to do that with this. Now, you know, you don't have to. You can have as many steps in your skincare routine as you want or as few as you want. But I do think if you have dry skin and you incorporate this essence in addition to your routine, it may be a fantastic solution to the problem of dryness. So we covered some products that alleviate dryness. Let's move on next to another really popular Eccentry product, the Green Tea Fresh Toner, which is made to address excess oil production. Green tea is a very interesting ingredient to choose for the purpose of mitigating oiliness because it doesn't minimize oiliness. Instead, what it does is helps in regulating oil production within your skin, which can also mean that it could also increase hydration while addressing oiliness. And I think that helps to explain why green tea is so beloved by so many people with an oily skin type. You know, again, you really, you really wanna seek balance in your skin as opposed to trying to deal with your skin in terms of extremes. As someone with acne, trust me on that one. There's nothing worse for my skin than overly attacking the acne. And I think it's probably the same thing for people who deal with oily skin. So Eccentry's green tea toner is a fantastic source of antioxidants as well as those tannin ingredients, which they say is about 12 to 15% of the green tea in here, which is at, I believe, 80%, right? 80%? So given everything I've told you so far, you might be surprised that me over here with my not oily skin type has used up this much of this product, but I do use this for a different purpose. You may have heard about it, especially if you do any kind of LED therapy. There is some research, quotes, 
Admittedly, it, it is one person's face. It, it really is a publication based on one person's face. A very passionate person, I must tell you, he is exceedingly passionate about his belief in the importance of green tea prior to LED therapy, but this is to say maybe you should do it, maybe you shouldn't, that's really where we are. You know, on that basis, I should start publishing my own reviews into academic journals. I mean, all I gotta do is write it up correctly, boom, there you go published by Alice in the Rabbit Hole. Anyway, that's all to tell you. I don't think you necessarily need to do this. I truly think that. In fact, I'm personally going to explore some other antioxidants. I think that's what it is. I think it is the antioxidant activity. But at the same time, what does make this appealing is the price, right? It's a fantastic price point. I know some people also consider this to be a dupe of the Amore Pacific green tea, although that one I'm not quite as confident on. This is not a fermented product, while the uh, Amore Pacific one is. It's sort of like saying grape juice is a dupe for wine, although I did learn that in my Baptist church growing up. To give you just some final thoughts on this product, I think the appeal is that it's so affordable for a product that is very clearly a high percentage of green tea. You can tell that from the color of the product itself. So if you're looking for the benefits of green tea, I just don't think you're gonna find it in such a condensed format for anywhere near this price point, which is why it's a mainstay in my own routine, even though I do not have an oily skin type. Now we are moving into the newer releases from Eccentry, and I hope you are excited because in my opinion, these are all incredible products. Let's start with the Chestnut BHA at 2% Clear Liquid, which I have talked a lot about. I think this is honestly such an underrated product. It always baffles me that people continue to buy that very expensive Paula's Choice 2% product. I know it's skincare and I know that everybody has different preferences. It's possible you could prefer the Paula's Choice, but I feel like this is at least worth trying, at least if you like to save a little money. You know what I'm saying? This is one of few products that I love so much I have a backup of, and the ingredients, again, absolutely incredible. So we do have 2% salicylic acid. Now this could be confusing if you're used to Korean skincare as you very rarely see that in Korean products, but Eccentry actually was kind enough to explain to me that they export these products out of Korea. But the beauties of importing and exporting, right? Right, we all actually get nice sunscreens in the US by importing them. Go figure from the name, it also contains chestnut extract at about 1%, which they are saying is an ingredient that they believe works synergistically with that salicylic acid in here, altogether making a product that targets pores, blemishes, and is ideal for oily to combo skin or simply anybody who deals with acne. But check this out, I absolutely love this. We actually still have some of the hyaluronic acid ingredients from the hyaluronic acid toner within this product right here. Which means this product works out to be a real all-in-one product, especially for me, that's why it is such a favorite for me. And on my skin type, I feel like the hyaluronic acid as well as the allantoin are helping with kind of calming my skin, so I'm still getting that maximum level of salicylic acid for preventing and treating acne while I get some soothing and calming and hydration into my skincare routine. I really think it is, it's a stellar product stellar price point. The only thing I wish with this one is that it was a little bit of a larger bottle. It's kind of small, 3.38 fluid ounces. And because the texture of it is quite watery, you probably will want to put it on a cotton pad and you'll probably go through it a little quickly. So you see why I have a backup. Next up, we have such an exciting newer release, or really I should say a renewal in the Chestnut AHA 8% Clear Essence. This is one of the products that Stylevana was kind enough to send to me. Now I do have the older version here. The Clear Skin 8% AHA Essence, this has actually gone through a number of reformulations and I feel like in some ways it's gotten better with every reformulation. So the old version here used to be a little bit more basic. It had your 4% glycolic acid and your 4% lactic acid. Then they reformulated it and added in some of the constituents that are found in Centella Asiatica. 
what video to send you to if you want to understand constituents more. Probably my mugwort, lotus, and heart leaf video. We talk more about what that means. So that's the intense portion of the plant that is kind of responsible for the entire supposed mechanisms of a plant. And that was such an amazing improvement because you were taking a, you know, a kind of intense AHA product and adding ingredients to calm your skin. However, with that upgrade, they actually added in some lavender, which not everybody likes to see. But guess what? With this latest reformulation, there is no more lavender. There are still those constituents, the medecososide, the azeotic acid. And now, of course, a little bit of that, by the way, upcycled chestnut as well. Oh my goodness, it is such an upgrade for me personally. It is all of the calming ingredients I want, none of the risky ingredients, and yet still strong levels of AHA. 4% glycolic, 4% lactic, that is an excellent blend that will, again, like the hyaluronic acid products, it will target different layers of your skin. Glycolic acid is a much smaller molecule. Lactic acid is a larger molecule. So again, a recap of who these two products are for, because again, this is both chemical exfoliation, but BHA versus AHA. So the chestnut BHA 2% is going to be for pores, blemishes, oily combination type skin, whereas the chestnut AHA essence is for dead skin, sensitive skin, or dry skin. My friends, for as much as I've raved about these products so far, we have not even gotten to my absolute favorite eCentry toner. That's right, I saved the best for last. Are you ready for it? You've seen it in two videos, so some of you might have had a clue where I was going with this one, but the Onion New Pear Essence Toner. Oh my goodness, I love this toner so much. Super underrated product. Oh my gosh, so underrated, but think about it. What a hard sell. So you're saying this is an onion product? Uh, okay, so is it gonna smell bad? Is it gonna make my eyes burn? Also the packaging. I don't know how things are in Korea, but in the US, purple, yes it makes sense, the color of onions, but it might it might be hard to sell it as a gender neutral product. We should we should get to a point where there's no issue with that though. It's a nice color, you know? But to answer those questions, no, it does not smell like onion at all, which is truly impressive given that it is over 75% of this onion extract. Now, why onion, you might be asking? Well, there's actually really interesting research into what onion can do for your skin. It may be a wonderful ingredient for helping to reduce the severity of scars, so much so that this ingredient onion is actually in the Mederma products, which are also used for minimizing scars. So you can guess from there that this is a product that might be ideal for people who do deal with blemishes, and indeed that's exactly what Eisentree says they say this is for blemished dull and dry skin types now what this ultimately means is that this is a really nice complement to one of those AHA or BHA products that I was talking about earlier on my really difficult skin type right so I may be dealing with breakouts that's when I'm gonna go for the chestnut BHA toner but what about once that breakout is gone that's when I'm gonna go for the onion toner to minimize scars from happening from that breakout all of us with acne know that is the last thing in the world we want. We don't want lingering signs of our past breakouts. And this is such a great product for that. But not just for that. It is such a calming and soothing formula overall. I mean, take a look at this ingredients list. We have some niacinamide in here. Again, we have those hyaluronic acid ingredients. Again, why you may not need to buy that hyaluronic acid toner as a separate product. It's kind of included as a bonus in this product right here, as well as the BHA toner. We're gonna be getting antioxidants and flavonoids from these ingredients. We have some added allantoin, some added panthenol. We even have some added heart leaf, another ingredient that I love, all without any fragrance and essential oils. Now you'll notice at the end of the ingredients list for this one, we do have some vitamin C and tranexamic acid ingredients. However, I do suspect, I suspect they're probably low in this product. But again, this video is about essences and toners and this product is an essence toner. It's whatever you want it to be. It can be an essence or a toner or both. 
And so I would recommend, you know, again, using this with other products. For example, maybe you want to use this with the, uh, the bubble vitamin C that I can't seem to stop talking about. <laughs> Again, it's just such a calming formula, and it's so wonderful if you're somebody who also deals with barrier issues, if your moisture barrier can act up from time to time like mine does. It's soothing for that. It's just such a well-done product. I really hope so much that people get over the, the name Onion to realize the potential benefits that can come from actually using Onion products. And that actually covers all of the essences and toners that I've tried. There are a couple more from Eccentry, but this is all that I've tried. So again, to recap, you may have gathered the last three are indeed my favorites. But again, if you have a more normal skin type, if you don't have a lot of skin issues, you may prefer one of the first four that I talked about. Regardless, every single one of these are well done products for what they are, which means we have such a strong start for this Eccentry brand review, don't we? But that concludes part one of my Eccentry review. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you all love this brand as much as I do, or if you have any favorite products from the brand that you would like to share. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.